Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Uh, today we're gonna do something cool. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna create uh, some videos uh, with VO3, uh, the new model from Google uh, Video Auto. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna generate the prompt to do the video uh, using DeepSeek R1, which is a great model and very fast and very efficient and also uh, uh, doesn't cost much. So uh, before I start, I'd like to just point you to just take a look at the links that I'll put in the description below. You can find this workflow that I'll be creating today with you and all the other workflows as well in there uh, for you to download uh, instantly and you can just import from file here and you will have everything already laid out. All right. so. Uh, I'm in N8 and right now self-hosted one. Uh, what I'll what I'll do first is I'll name this, rename this. So the workflow would be uh, three videos. So I have an idea of what I want to do. Uh, I want to do these uh, a, a video with the uh, uh, with the hammer smashing uh, iPhones or Samsung or whatever, whatever phone. Uh, so I'll attempt to create that, okay? Here's what you'll probably, what we'll need to do, what we'll need to have is we need to have an Open Router account so we can use the Open Router uh, node and then we can use uh, uh, DeepSeek. And you need to also have the fal.ai, you need to sign up and uh, then you will be able to access the API uh, and generate VO3 videos, okay? Uh, let us start. So I want to start with a form. So I want to start with a form and let's do trigger. Okay, so we don't need authentication and we need a title. So for the title, we can, uh, let's, uh, let's name the title, let us crash, some cell phones. Oh yes, that's a good one. So let us, uh, we'll, we'll choose a drop down list and then here would be, choose your phone. And here we would go for like iPhone 16. And let's go for Samsung S24, for example. Okay. Uh, and you can add as many phones as you like. Okay, so now that this is done, uh, I can save. <clears throat> now we have the form done, which will submit a, uh, which will submit the entry. Let's, uh, let's, I wanna, I wanna take the entry. So whatever entry I have, I wanna feed it into Open Router. So let's search for Open Router. Let's go for that, operate our chat model, and I'm gonna use DeepSeek here. Okay, let's go for the R1. Okay, so what what it will create is it will be it will create this basic LLM chain and this upper router model. In this one, in this model, you only need to choose the model. Do not go ahead and uh, do anything here. Here you'll need to put the prompt, okay? And for the prompt, we'll define below. So we'll define the prompt here. Okay, so we'll define the prompt here. Uh, and then uh, what we will do is basically, uh, let me just copy and paste text here. Okay, so what we will do is we'll say generate me a, a video, a prompt to uh, feed to VO3, and then we will take the phone uh, list, and then I put some specifications. But first, uh, I'm gonna delete this chat one. I'm gonna connect this directly. Let us test first uh, this one. Okay, so it will open and then I will select my phone and submit and then it will work. Here you can see here, uh, choose your phone. 
is the one that we should have and here it should say there's your phone as well okay let's connect here and then we should let's test this one and let's see what it gives us okay we'll choose the iphone submit and then it will go ahead and do the magic all right uh there you go we have the result here it created the result and it took the phone that we submitted before perfect so we have the prompt we have the prompt working uh and this is great let me add a uh, add a sticky note let's uh let's name this prompt I like to keep things tidied up let's choose green put that here all right so this is the prompt section now what we want to do is start uh sending the prompt to to file that i that ai so here here you have uh the documentation for the api if you want some uh so what i will do is i will create an http request here what you, what we will need to do is uh submit a post so we'll we'll choose post and for the url the endpoint what we call is we will choose uh this endpoint and the authentication is the is the weird part here uh you would go for the generic and the header authentication and here i have one already set up called file.ai but what you do is create new credential and here you would say authorization authorization and here you would say uh, uh i think it's key key then the uh then your api key okay here you would go for key and then you would put your api key okay the api key you would need to go take from a file that i they give you that okay and once you hit save you will have that saved so that every time you don't have to redo things okay i have one called uh file that ai already set up so what i need to do is send the body because it's a post and i don't want i want to send it as json and I want it as raw, okay? So here I would say application slash JSON. And here we will have the body and the body of course needs to start with a bracket and we'll send the prompt. First, let's activate expression. So we, uh, we are aware. So let's take whatever the basic and then we're just navigating to the text okay here it already came with a bracket uh with this one I'm sorry with a with a code so i won't add a code here and then what i need to do is just close it all right so what this will do is it will send the prompt to file.ai for the endpoint of vo3 and we have the authentication already set up so we don't have to do it again all right so let me call this submit request uh, i like to uh, name my uh, http request other than i think it's better than having them http request one then http request two and then you would know you would not know what what is going on uh, so what this will do is we'll submit uh, it will submit our uh, video next thing we need to do is probably wait so we're gonna wait we're gonna add a wait note and we're gonna wait for at least uh three minutes okay shouldn't take more than that but it can 
okay then after that i want to check status so i'm going to do another http request the the other http request would be a get it will not be a post and what we will, what we need to do is uh is go to this endpoint which this this endpoint was uh would go request and status so what it needs is the request id and the request id we will get from the submit request okay so authentication as usual we'll use the same one header and then the the one that we set up before and we don't need to specify anything else okay so this will get us the uh, let rename it status this will get us the status of is it finished is it not that that's what i mean by status after that after we do the status what we need to do is do an if we need to check if it's finished or not that's basically what we need to do with the if so the if will check will check if the dot status so whatever we receive from here dot status uh, needs to be equal to completed all right so it needs to be equal to completed if it's completed it is true and it will proceed if it's not completed then we need more time and then we need to run it again right we need to run again but what then we need to add a bit of time we need to add let's say uh one one extra minute okay so here it will check the status if it's completed it's true if it's not completed do it again wait first and then check status again and here what we need to do is submit the last http request which will get us the video okay let me put that here so the last http request is also a get because we're getting the video so we're, we are getting the video what we need to do is uh, we need to just name this to uh, status yes and notice notice that i put first here the reason why i put first here is because we have an if and always when you have an if or conditional or a separation uh, it doesn't know which which path it took so you need to put first instead of dot item you need to put dot first instead of dot item okay and it's the same with the request id we'll need to use the, the authentication as well save authentication and that's it we don't need to do anything else let's rename this to uh, get video all right and then what we look at that we've already done so let's do another um, another sticky note here delete all that we don't need that and this will be uh, video generation and then we'll we'll give it a nice red color so we'll start right from here go all over that all right so let's recap we submit a form of what phone that we want to get destroyed we'll use the open router to get to deep seek to generate us a proper prompt for video three we'll submit the request using post via the file.ai we'll wait three minutes and then we'll check the status if the status is completed we'll go to get the video if not we'll wait another minute and check again and once it is completed we'll get the video then so we can see it okay so i'm gonna save this one what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna uh test run this and see what video we get so i'm gonna say test workflow so i'm gonna choose an iphone 16 and i'm gonna submit then it will go ahead 
it will create the prompt we're using the DeepSeq R1 mo uh, model and then I'm not gonna let you wait for three minutes I'm gonna pause and then I will I will show you the video all right done so here's the video people <laughs> I loved it to be honest let's uh, let's go ahead oops no comes with audio as well I don't know if you guys are hearing so this is the uh, the iPhone getting smashed uh, <laughs> uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you did please give it a like subscribe below for more videos and I will put the link uh, of this workflow in the description below uh, see you guys in the next one bye bye